Starting our journey in the core of our own Milky Way galaxy, slide our view south towards Dorado. We might just start making out a faintly brighter patch of sky between Canopus and Aconus. This is close to what you might see in a really dark sky. Take some long exposures though, and you start revealing much, much more. An irregular dwarf galaxy, 179,000 light years from us, and 14,000 light years across, showing signs of gravitational distortion from its interactions with the small Magellanic Cloud and our own galaxy. At about 100,000 light years in diameter, imagine how our own Milky Way galaxy would look to inhabitants of a planet at the near edge of the LMC. At the leading edge of the LMC, an intense star formation region becomes visible in long exposure photography. Many nebulae and star clusters are catalogued in this region. Intensely studied, the Tarantula Nebula, or NGC 2070, itself measures almost 1,000 light years across, and if it were situated within our own galaxy, it would be bright enough to cast shadows. We think there may be a globular cluster being formed in 2070, which is home to some of the most massive stars we have seen, 50 times the mass of our own sun. Not only that, but NASA JPL point out that this intense starburst region contains more than 40 of these stars within one light year of each other. Our Sun has no other stars within one light year of it. And there are many other interesting star formation regions to be found inside the large Magellanic Cloud, such as NGC 1955 on the right, accompanied by no fewer than 10 other new general catalogue names just in this field of view. We're so fortunate here in the Southern Hemisphere to spend so much time immersed in one of our nearest neighbouring galaxies, the Large Magellanic Cloud. <laughs>